Hey, what's going on guys? This is going to be my out-of-box review here for the Sunshine L from Kotobukiyo's Armored Core Variable Infinity line. This is in 1 to 70 second scale and later on in the review I'll give you guys a size comparison, but it's roughly kind of about the same size as a Master Grade in terms of the overall height, but as you can tell obviously the proportions are going to be quite different as this is very wide and just big and bulky. And a pretty cool looking mech. This is my first time ever building any uh, Armored Core kit. People have been recommending me to build some armor core kits for a long time uh, but to be honest I'm just not really into most of the designs just like the weird proportions and everything just kind of not, don't really do it for me uh, this one though definitely I'm is I'm much more interested in and so I feel like I'm not sure if this review will really be able to speak for the entire armored core line because I think this kit is really really nice it's super solid and you guys will just see over the course of the review just how nice this is but uh, the other kits are a lot more different in terms of their like shape and like the way the legs are like kind of like bend backwards and, like the feet are really long and weird or something like that so uh, I'm not sure if the other kits will all be like as solid as this one is I think just due to the design of this one it's extra solid but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if you've built any other armored core kits, how they might compare to this one. But uh, for now, let's take a look at this Sunshine L. As you can see, it's super nicely detailed and the color separation is fantastic on it. And it's just a really, really nice kit. I really enjoyed putting this together because it. Uh, if you have a kit that's like this complicated and everything from Kotobukiya, you often might think that it's a little bit kind of uh, sensitive. But this one, I didn't really feel like that so much. There are a few seam lines on there that are kind of annoying that you'll have to get rid of. But other than that, this is going to be a really, really nice kit. So first, let's take a look at everything the kit comes with. But before that, I just want to say, as always, a huge thank you to SA Gundam Store for sponsoring this review, guys. Do check the link to their site down below. Uh, they're getting more and more Kotobukiya kits in these days. And if you guys want to see more Kotobukiya stuff on their site, uh, then support them and let them know that that's definitely something that you're interested in. As always, you can use my coupon code there, Zacharelius10, to save 10% on that stuff, whatever you want on that site. So check that out. Now, uh, what does this kit come with? It does come with a few option parts here. Here. For these panels on the front of the leg there you have a different option that actually has this little hole cut out of it and that's for attaching on some different parts. And actually there's a different version of this kit, I think it's called the Feedback, that has like the like actual cannons for arms instead of actually holding weapons. Its arms are simply cannons anyway. I believe there's only one other version of this, uh, there could be more but I think there's just that one. Uh, but that one has some different parts, I think it's like extra ammo or something that's like attached onto the front of the leg there. So that's why you have this option part. With this kit it doesn't really do you any good. Uh, but if you will prefer to have that as just like an extra detail or something, you can do that. Also here on the back, you can choose between the part that just has that covered or that has this attachment point on there. And again, this is for an option part for the different kit, I believe. And I'm not exactly sure what goes on there, but it doesn't really do any good with this kit. And then you get these, uh, I want to say, missile pods attachments for the backpacks. These will attach onto the back. They're pretty nicely detailed all around there. And the little doors on the front can open up. It's, the hinge is barely attached onto there. So as you can see, they do tend to pop off fairly easily. But there you go. You can have that opened up. And there's some nice detail inside there as well. Now, you have an option as well with these is you have two different lengths of the kind of uh, connection part for that. So you can see there's a shorter one and a longer one. These just attach here onto the back of the torso. So personally, I definitely prefer the shorter length. The longer one looks just a little bit too high and weird. I'm not really sure why that's that tall or even why you have a different option part for that. But anyway, that just goes onto there and you can rotate that up and back if you like. And then you have his guns. They're exactly the same, just for the left and right. So you have trigger finger hands for holding those. Otherwise, on the kit, you just have the closed fists. And so these are pretty cool. I want to say bazooka, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, something like that. Anyway, they're big, heavy looking guns. And they're pretty nicely detailed on here as well. You'll have a seam line going down that, unfortunately. But they're pretty cool looking. And that's going to be it in terms of the accessories. But I want to go over a little bit of the articulation here with you guys as well. So the head will go up to there. There is a clear part in there for that tiny little eye. It's like a little tiny little clear red part. Obviously not going to be very noticeable with the kit as is. If you wanted to wire LED into that or something, you maybe could. Or just painting some silver or something inside that. But I feel like it's going to be pretty hard to make that noticeable as anything at all. And then down to there. And of course it can turn left and right as well. It's just a pretty cool little box head. Very very unique look to that and just the overall kind of shape of the torso having this really long it almost sort of looks like the body of like a tank sort of and it's just very long and flat and really cool looking I think really unique 
I'm just noticing that this part fell off of the bottom of the chest there as this has happened a few times already so you might want to just go ahead and glue those parts onto there. Also while we're talking about it this part also has a seam line down the middle of that. So fix that seam, glue that up onto there and you'll be good. But let's move on with the shoulders. This is just on a ball joint so you can just move it forward and back a little bit like that up and down just a little bit like that, really not all too much. And then just because of all this that you have going on over here on the side of the shoulder as well. Another hard point there is I guess you could plug something onto that as well if you wanted. But it is worth noting that you can't plug the missile pods onto there as those don't really fit. The hole's just a little bit different in size it seems like from that one. But anyway, the arm will rotate there at the top and then you have a nice bend there at the elbow. It's gonna be a little bit blocked by that part there at the front of the shoulder. There goes that again, we'll just leave it off for the time being. That part doesn't extend down at the back, so if you wanted to have that just kind of out of the way, you can maybe switch the shoulders and have that part sticking out the back instead. And then the wrist is just on a ball joint, but there's really not a whole lot of room for that to move around except for basically just twisting. The waist is on a ball joint as well, so you can kind of move that forward and back side to side a little bit, but basically it's just going to be twisting there. Around here on the back, you have these little thruster bells, which are on ball joints as well, so you can sort of move those around, but if you move them around too much, they'll really easily pop off the ball joints as well, so you might want to just kind of just keep them on there. We also have this little gimmick is that these little flaps will fold down like that and there's some other, I'm gonna say boosters, thrusters, something like that there as well for a nice little extra detail hidden inside there. The legs as you can see are just attached via a ball and socket joint so you're gonna be able to rotate those a little bit like that, get them spread out to about there. Obviously going to be able to bring the leg pretty far forward like that and with the bend at the knee That is about all you're gonna get there less than 90 degrees It looks like kind of weird how this big huge part that's on the front of there is like basically kind of like the knee of it But it doesn't move at all it really would have been nice if this was a double joint and that would have moved uh, Separately, but it's just attached to this whole kind of part which would be sort of like the thigh section But down here at the ankles you can bend that side to side so you can get a pretty nice wide stance out of this and then also forward and back to there, pretty good. And then up underneath, some nice detail up underneath the feet as well. And then for a quick size comparison, here it is with just a standard Master Grade 100 scale gym. So you can see it's a little bit shorter, but it's kind of relatively similar in size. If this was compared to like a smaller MG, like the F91 or Crossbone or something like that, it'd probably be a little bit taller or right about the same height as that as well. So not too small for these, which is nice. There's a lot of room to run on here for filling in the details and painting this up and weathering them and adding some cool markings and things like that. Unfortunately, no water sides included with the kit, but there's definitely a lot of room for having some fun with that on them and so that is just about gonna do it for my review of the armored core sunshine l pretty cool kit and i have to say definitely really impressed with this uh, but again i'm not sure if i'm really going to be all that interested in checking out many more of the armor core kits just because i'm just not too big into the design but if you think that this looks pretty cool and if this has convinced you as to just the quality and the overall value of armor core kits in general then you might want to check some out if there's uh, some other different ones that you're more into the design or if you're into this one uh definitely check them out and even if you aren't going to paint the kit, the colors that it's molded in are pretty cool. You have the tan, and then you have some parts in that kind of metallic-y silver parts, and then you have the kind of darker green, which is also a little bit metallic in it. So even if you just went in and did some panel lining on this, give it a spray of some matte top coat, this thing would look really nice, even just as it is just straight out of the box. Uh, but of course, painting it, fixing some of the seam lines, and doing a little bit of gluing for a few of the little touchy parts here and there would be the best bet if you can. So that would be what I would recommend. Either way, it's gonna be a really nice kit. And for the list price of 5,300 yen, around 50, 55 dollars for this, it's definitely reasonable. I think that's really not too bad. As you saw, it's about the same size as a Master Grade, and for all the complexity and detail and part separation you get in there, uh, paying about the same price as a little bit larger Master Grade for this is really not too bad, I think. So definitely check them out if you're interested. If you guys do have any other further questions or comments, of course, though, feel free to leave that down below. Of course, I don't really know a whole lot about Armor Core just as a series in general and about the kind of mecha from the series. So I'm sure you guys know a lot more about it than I do. So let me know down in the comment section what I should know about this or if you have any other experience building any of the other Armor Core kits, if there's any ones that you'd particularly recommend or anything like that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for that feedback, guys. As always, thank you again to USA Gundam Store. Check out the link to their site in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye-bye. Hey!
Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code, Zakurilius10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.